In this video, we're gonna switch gears a little bit. I'm gonna take you on a journey of me trying to build a haunted house facade. So if that sounds interesting, follow along. What you, what you want, what you, what you want. I don't have a super big budget. Um, I really haven't for a long time, but I've really, really wanted to do some kind of facade thing in front of the house. And this one's going to be kind of small. Hopefully next year, maybe I can make it bigger, but the facade I'm wanting to do is based off of the look I found of this picture right here on the internet. I thought that thing was pretty cool. So I know that a lot of people, when they build their facades, they use the pink foam, um, which I've used for other stuff where I didn't have to buy a whole lot and it's wonderful, it's easy to work with. Uh, but for what I needed, if I did that, I was gonna be like seven, almost $700 just in foam. Um, I just don't have that to spend right now. So I'll show you what I got. I hope it works. So I got this half inch stuff and I almost kicked myself in the butt because this really isn't a foam. This is, this is compacted fiberglass really is what this is. So this junk's going to be itchy to work with. It's basically going to suck. Uh, but it's what I got. It was cheaper. And I'm going to see if I can make it work. A big shout out to Hollywood Haunters. Uh, if you guys don't know who they are on YouTube, you need to go find them, subscribe them. They make some incredible stuff, especially when it comes to facade work and things like that. Uh, unbelievable. It's abs everything they make is just absolutely on par. Beautiful stuff. But they got some videos on there where they talk about set panels. And on the back sides, they use uh, one by threes so they can lock everything together. Uh, I priced one by threes for this project and yeah that was um six hundred and fifty dollars worth of material so uh i shied away from that one too instead i basically bought these one by two furring strips uh, i'm hoping i can cheat it and make these things work because they were way cheaper uh than the one by threes that i found so basically my plan is to do these in like four by six sections. So there's six foot wall on one side, six foot wall on the other side, and basically a six foot wall uh, in the center there. So anyway, that's the dimensions I'm gonna go with. Squeezing it down a little bit and make it a little bit smaller, trying to make it a little bit cheaper, and then maybe I can build onto it next year. So I'm gonna get some tools out. I'm gonna set up stuff to do, cut down all these furring strips first to make a frame. Then I'm gonna attach this up to it, but I need a door and I've made a door in the past that I think will work. So welcome to one of the areas. This was, my kids were little. This was something they played in, but this is now an area that I store. Yeah, see that? I store a whole lot of my Halloween stuff. But I think back behind this in that general area, right somewhere in there is a door they can use for this build so i'm gonna drag a whole bunch of this stuff out of here see if i can find my door take some of this put it over in the garage so i can use it for trim and different things like that on this build and see if we can't get this done this is the first weekend in october um I always seem to try these ambitious projects at the last moment. So yeah, uh, let's get after it. Took a little bit, but I found the door. It's uh, when I built it back whenever it's a two piece door, you know, so like the top part can open up and the bottom part can open up. Anyway, found it.
Well, it's been, you know, <clears throat> an entire day. I don't feel like I got a whole lot done. I'll show you what I've done. And I actually, it's, I've gotten a lot more done than what it feels like. I just always want to get these things done, you know, quicker and faster. They're always a bigger project than normally I plan on. So anyway, uh, I'll show you what I got done. Let me show you what's in the garage first before we talk about what's going on there. I've made, basically these are all the panels besides the ones out there. Those are six foot long by four foot wide and that's how I'm gonna do my panels. Uh, six foot long, four foot, we're gonna build them this way in three sections. And then these are two foot panels that are four foot tall as well. Because the front part of the house, according to that picture, kind of steps out a little bit. So I'm gonna go two foot out, right? And then I'm going to, on the ends of each wall, I'm gonna go two foot back again, help with keeping it stable and stuff. I'll have to put some other supports in on the back and tie it all down. But anyway, I thought it would help out and would give at least a side um, piece to it. Well, let me show you what I'm doing. This may be the wrong approach. Um, who knows, but it's how I'm doing it. What I'm doing is kind of putting it together first, uh, making these anchor points. I've got some bolts with some um, wing nuts. Basically what I want to be able to do with this is be able to assemble it, tear it all down, make it smaller so I can store it, pull it all back out in panel sections and just basically bolt everything back up together. So right now, I'm gonna build this entire frame, frame it all out, make sure it's halfway square. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfectly square. It's an old rotten house, but get all the bolts put in, all these locations where everything's gonna to slide together and, and tighten down an anchor. Once I have that set in, then I'm going to start skinning it. Then after I skin it, I'll detail it and all that stuff, uh, you know, make it look like a house. So that may be a bunch of extra steps. I mean, I don't know. I don't do that. I don't. I don't do facades. I've never really done a facade. So this is how I'm doing it. I may be taking 20,000 two steps too many and then going back. Anybody that's out there that's done them, you can tell me how bad I'm screwing this up. Anyway. Day two, uh, I'll show you what I got. So when I was thinking about this thing, it's like 18 feet across which I felt like was relatively small because I wanted to cover the whole house. And then that's just 12 feet right there, which I also thought was small until now that I get up there and that's, that's a lot taller, like a lot taller than uh, in my head. I got another, another two foot section to go on top of that to make this piece 14 foot tall. So it's a little bit taller than this. Yeah. This video series here is gonna be way out of normal from this, uh, what I normally do on this channel. If you guys want to follow along on this crazy build that I'm doing, uh, tune in each weekend. I'm going to try to give you some progression as this thing goes along. Uh, I don't really know how long it's going to take, but I'm bound and determined to get it done before Halloween. So come check back every weekend. And maybe when it's all said and done, I might throw a real video together on it and how I really did it you know a, a full from start to finish but we'll see anyway if you like the content you like this channel if you're new here or you just showed up subscribe like give this video share it to the world let everybody know that i don't know what i'm doing and we're all going to be good uh other than that if anybody any of you guys want to share a little more support you can always check out the patreon over there we got a great group of people on that side. Until next time, keep making something from nothing.